Meghan's break with protocol is right on time. Meghan Markle is going to make a speech at her wedding to Prince Harry, according to reports. I should blooming well think she is. The fact that a bride speaking on her wedding day still makes the news in 2018 is rather surreal. Naturally, Meghan is going to talk. This is the woman who gave a speech about gender equality at a United Nations conference in 2015. It would be strange if she sat there benignly smiling as lots of blokes talked about her, as is the custom. I have always thought it an extremely strange custom that traditional weddings require the woman to say deadly squat. Catherine Middleton said they appall at her wedding to Prince William, instead of listening to Prince Charles. Prince Harry and Michael Middleton waffle on. It took her a year before she made a speech, so I suppose she was hardly going to give a TED talk at her nuptials. I am not criticizing her, or any woman who doesn't want to talk. They don't have to. But I think it's a tradition that should have disappeared a long time ago. After all, what is tradition anyway? Up until 1840 brides didn't wear white, only starting when Queen Victoria chose the color at her wedding, and a century ago weddings were held on weekdays as a Saturday was seen as bad luck and bad days. Right up until the 1960s, receptions were frugal and held at home, if they had one at all. So why do we cling to this notion of tradition anyway? Just change it. That was certainly something Diana, Princess of Wales did at her wedding. When it came to the part of the vows where the bride promises to obey her husband, Diana was having none of it. The couple held very serious discussions with the Archbishop of Canterbury and controversially decided to ditch it. As we know Diana certainly did not obey Charles and after that, Nobody said obey at their wedding, so perhaps if Meghan gives the best speech of her life then there will be a rousing chorus of brides telling far better jokes than the bumbling best man. There's no better illustration of this than nuns married at first sight, where none of the brides look like they're going to obey anyone and the ones that do speak at their receptions eclipse their hapless husbands. Single mum Joe's entertaining speech went down a treat to everyone apart from her inarticulate husband Sean, that is, who isn't going to be winning any debating competitions. Then there was Davina and Ryan's wedding reception this week, where Ryan's dunderheaded best man Matt won the worst speech in history award. Hilarious for him, not so entertaining for the new bride. As for etiquette, forget it, say the experts. More and more brides are making speeches at their weddings, says Nairif Hardy, director of the Australian School of Etiquette. Both men and women now share the stage when it comes to making traditional speeches at all formal occasions. Not really a shock there. So for the sake of our sanity, ladies, do a Megan and speak up on your big day, if only to drown out press like mad for good.